Now in this session we talk about the concept of overall heat transfer coefficient. We will denote the T of side heat transfer coefficient either HT or it's the inside so we will denote it by HI. And the shell side heat transfer coefficient will denote it by HS or is the outside so we will get the notation HO. Now if you consider a tube, one liquid is coming through here, another liquid is, is going either this direction or this direction, depending on parallel or counter current flow. So what about the case, the heat is going from the one plate to the another. So if the tube is at a high temperature, so it is going from this direction to that direction. So that's the direction of heat transfer. Now if we take a small segment of this pipes and draw what's happening there. So you can have this small segment of the pipe. Inside is the hot fluid we are considering, outside is the cold fluid. Now if you look at the temperature profile of this hot and cold fluid, you may look at something like this at the bulk, there's the temperature of the inside fluid. So its temperature will change something like this and at the wall there is the temperature dW i. Now through the wall, so the heat will transfer again and will have again another temperature drop. So if you consider this to be dW o, the outside wall temperature and then outside there will be temperature profile something this. So you can consider this to be T o. Now do remember that it is the same amount of heat is going from the fluid to the wall, through the wall, to the other side of the wall and to the other fluid. So we can have this, what this differential element, if I take this to be dq, I will have this same amount of heat going from the bulk of the fluid to the wall, through the wall, to the other side of the wall and then to the other fluid. Then we can define for each side, say so dq, can have this to be HI AI TI minus TW I. So this is the differential area we can consider DAI TI minus TW. Now the same amount of it is passing through the wall however for the fluid side it's convection heat transfer through the wall it's conduction heat transfer however the same DQ. So I can write this to be in terms of the conduction heat transfer coefficient K of the wall and simply following the equation for conduction heat transfer coefficient will have area dA. Now think about this dAi was the inside area of the tube. Now for conduction what area do you use? So we need to because the inside area and outside area of the tubes are not the same. So we'll have to use for this case also we use the logarithmic mean area. So we have to use some mean area, we use the logarithmic mean for the area here. And you will have TWI minus TWO over XW which is the thickness of the wall. And now for the outside or the cold side we can write HO, DAO, TWO, minus T. If we want to define an overall heat transfer coefficient for this entire thing, so it will be dependent on these two temperatures Ti and TO. Now we can write the overall heat transfer for this case also is the same dQ. Write U A delta T, Ti minus TO. However, you see that area, which area do we use? So we can use a mean area, outside area or inside area. So if we use the inside area, it becomes the overall heat transfer coefficient in terms of the inside area, so ui. You can use the same way the outside area, it will be uoao ti minus to. So depending on which area you define, you get the overall heat transfer coefficient corresponding to that area. So it will be either inside area or outside 
area. Now we can write Ti minus To in terms of Ti minus Twi plus Twi minus Two plus Two minus To. Simply you see we are adding and subtracting the same terms so it remains Ti minus To. Now from this expression we get Ti minus Twi is dq over Hi dAi. From this expression we get Twi minus Two is dq over Kw xw over a log min. And from here again we get TWO minus TO equals DQ over O DA O. And finally from here you get TI minus TO to be DQ over so if I take that this part will be DQ over U naught A. Just simply plug in all this expression over here you will end up getting dq over u naught a naught will be dq over hi dai plus dq over k w x w over a log min plus dq over h naught da naught. So this will be da naught. So this one will also be da naught. We are considering the small area. So this all should be da naught. Now you see if you have this dq term in all of those and you simply multiply everything by da naught, you will end up getting 1 over u naught, 1 over H i d a naught over d a i plus so this one also be d a log min plus one over h. Now few things here. We know that d a naught over d a i will be simply d naught over di and also for this case x thickness of the wall to be d naught minus di over 2 and da naught over da log min will also be outside diameter over the log min diameter which will be given by d naught over d naught minus di over ln d naught over di. So putting this together we will get after simplification for this entire term we will get simply this and this term will get cancelled out. So we will have d naught ln d naught over d i and the term 2 will be there d naught over 2. So if we include all this in this formulation we will get 1 over u naught 1 over h i d naught over d i plus d naught over 2 k w ln d naught over di plus 1 over h so that's the overall heat transfer coefficient expression now another terms comes into play which is called the dart coefficient now over time they are scaling on the tube sides both the inner side and the outer side and that will cause significant difference in the heat transfer coefficient 
Now to account for that, simply what you do, we use two other terms, one for the inner side and one for the outer side. And those typically obtained by exponential value. So the exponential values are expressed in terms of the equivalent convection heat transfer coefficient. So simply what is done that another, so these are considered one over HI considered can be in terms of the resistance. So another resistance term is added there for the inside and also for the outside. So the modified equation will look like 1 over u naught will be 1 over h i plus another term 1 over h d i. So that's the dart coefficient for the inner side and we have the expression d d i plus One over h naught plus one over h d naught. So that's the expression when we consider the dart factors. So in summary, we have seen in this session how to obtain the expression for overall heat transfer coefficient from the tube side heat transfer coefficient, the shell side heat transfer coefficient, and the wall conduction heat transfer coefficient. Thank you.